89 per cent. 89. We've got bilateral air entry. Uh, no sign of a pneumothorax. Bags were normal ten minutes ago. Keep going. We'll do a full cycle and see what we get. What's happening? So, so you can't come in here. What's going on? They must know something by now. And why aren't they telling us anything? They'll be doing all they can. Oh, don't start, Jerry. Not now. I've just been to his room. I tell you anything. It's okay. It's okay. We've stabilised him. You can go and see him now. Thank God. What happened? Well, basically, your son's heart stopped beating briefly. We don't know why. Just now, we're doing some tests. Well, could it happen again? It's unlikely, but it's it's not impossible. Our main worry at the moment is how long his brain was starved of oxygen. So there's more of a chance of brain damage. It's still a bit early to say. And in the meantime, we'll keep fingers crossed. Okay. Trying to come through. Just give us a minute, eh, and then you can go in. Well, hang on, what's the bad news? Still here. Jerry. Come on, do you really want to do this now after what's just happened? Hey, maybe this isn't the time. Who the hell are you anyway? Or were you with him and all? Great. A tribe. Bob is my friend, Jerry. I'm going to see my son. You okay? Yeah. Yeah, I'm fine. Bob, you could give us a minute, could you? Sure, yeah, yeah. I'll head off. No, no, just grab a cup of tea. I won't be long. I'm sorry. He's not a bad bloke. He's just... ignorant. He just couldn't deal with it. When Jackson first told us he was gay, he just couldn't take it. I mean, he'd always been a strict dad, but he'd never... He'd never hit him. But then he did. <sighs> See, it makes a whole lot of sense now. About what? Jackson, and the way he is. Thought you'd have left. You'll find it a bit harder to get rid of me than that. Right. So, the real reason that you don't like me is because I'm gay. Is that right? No. It's your aftershave. What do you think? I just wanted to make sure, that's all. Well, now you are. You can get on your way. So when Jackson told you that he was gay, let me guess you were thinking he caught it off someone? Or was it this would never have happened if he hadn't gone into that gay bar? What I thought or said is none of your damn business. I'm his dad. That's what's really bothering you, though, isn't it? Meaning what? Meaning... As soon as he told you who he was... ...you couldn't bring yourself to be his dad anymore. So you smacked him a few times and left him to himself. Oh, yeah, I know. See, he makes a whole load of sense now. Jackson can't stand any of that stuff. In fact, he goes out of his way to avoid it all. I mean, it's hardly surprising when his dad does that to him. The bloke who's supposed to take him to football, fishing or whatever, turns on him and clowns him when he tells him who he is. Shut it. And now you can't stand that he's lying there and one of the last things that you probably did was call him a puff after you chinned him. Am I right? Well, you don't really want to do this, do you? Not here. Not with me. And I'm guessing not anymore. I don't want to 
can't expect you to understand why I'm like I am. You'd be surprised. I only ever wanted I, I just wanted him to have a normal life. Jackson, wife, kids. That's all. Now, I'd make do with him just living. Well, you probably won't believe this. But I know exactly where you're coming from. I've lashed out at people that I care the most about. Spent a long time pretending to be something that I wasn't. That's why I kicked off so much. It's no good in the end. In the end, pretending is what does your head in. So, what did you do? I stopped. Pretending. And mainly because of your son. wondering if he'll come back to me. Of course he will. What about brain damage? We'll cross that bridge when we come to it. You always were the, the practical one. Well, more practical than me anyway. Really? I thought I was the arty one. I was off on me travels. Oh, that was after we split up travels anyway. It was always there. Inside. I reckon that's one of the reasons you and me drifted apart. Yeah. Well, you're coping. I'm the wreck. I'm not here on my own, am I, Jerry? No. Where is this friend, anyway? Bob really is just a friend. Not that it's any of your business. He's in the canteen with Aaron. Which must be interesting, as they've got absolutely nothing to say to each other. I thought you and me might have a little chat. Been a long while since we did that. What about? I don't know. Your life now. How's Eileen? And the little one here, Joshua, isn't it? I call him Josh. That's been nearly a year now. Eighteen months. He's, uh, well, he's a lot like Jackson was. A handful then. Yeah. I'll tell you what, though. When this is all over, I want to meet up, get to know each other, be mates. Proper brothers. Jackson would like that. And whatever he is, Josh, or turns out to be, I'm really going to try and not make the same mistakes. I promise you that. I promise you both. How about you wake up then, eh? As soon as you can. <laughs>